What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is going to be a quick Gray Zone Warfare video, dude. It's on a topic that I feel like no one's really talked about yet, and it had me geeking. It was probably one of my favorite parts of the creator playtest that people showed. It is the map. We got to see a full scale look at the map, 1x zoom, everything revealed for the most part, we assume, and how it's laid out. So, shout out to Orcus. I'll show you a map in a minute. He put the overlay of how we see it kind of playing out on the map, and he had some theories which I agree with him on. The loop is the progress is you spawn in, accept your missions, build your loadout, and you start doing missions in your starter area. It's a starter zone. We'll call it that. These are going to be the green squares here. As you progress through those missions, you're going to be asked to go out farther into the higher tier loot zones. For those names, we have Fort Nareth, Tiger Bay, and Midnight Sapphire, with some smaller POIs in between, like Blue Lagoon, YBL-1, which we believe is a bunker of some sort, Sawmill, Hunter's Paradise, and Falang Airfield. I'll also uh, ban Pa. I hope I said all those right. So that's basically how it is. So my first question to the devs would be, will there be any incentive whatsoever to go into other PMC starting zones? If I'm in the faction on the south, would there be any incentive for me to fly northwest to the starter zone of Kiovangsa? I think I said, I hope I said that right, Kiovangsa. So I hope I'm wrong here, but I doubt it. If you look closely at these starter zones, they are copy and paste assets of each other. They are the same thing. Same buildings, same roads, even the same geographical layout. I don't think there's going to be a reason for me to go up there unless I am seeking PvP. I don't like that. If that's the case, I, I hope even some starter missions will, you know, some beginning missions, maybe like the first 30, 40, will let us go into each other's starter zones and do some things. But with the assets and everything being laid out the exact same, why would we? So that's kind of my first complaint about it. But I just got to play it and see how it all plays out because it probably won't matter anyway. Because as we do our missions in our starter zone, again, we're going to traverse out into the world to do to hit higher loot. So those are going to be neutral. I'm going to have to fly across the map if I'm in the south to Midnight Sapphire. They're going to have to fly across the map to our side to Tiger Bay. So all those will be kind of neutral quests that we're going to run into each other and we're all going to be doing the same time. So that will be pretty much the PVP zone as well as the highest tier, which is going to be ground zero radiation, right? You're going to need some sort of, you know, protective gear to even go in there. But that's where the highest, you know, level enemies are going to be. There's been rumors about a, a PMC AI faction, you know, somewhat like the rogues on Tarkov, you know, and different level bosses are going to be in there. So right now it looks to be just a wooded area, which I doubt that's true. If we're going to have all this high tier loot, these crazy ass AI, I, I think there's going to, it's going to be somewhat of like a city or a big town. So We'll see how that plays out. So another thing I want to talk about is the weather events and how that might play out. So they've said monsoon season and stuff like that, you know, in Southeast Asia, basically flooding. We already see how, if you look at the geography of the, the map, we can see where the flood zones have already happened. These rivers that run out to this lake to the east, you can see where it's cut into the mountains and things like that. So how bad will the flooding be? And will that cut off a lot of, you know, traveling on foot, things like that? Will it make the little bird? you know, more expensive to use or I don't know, something like that to make it harder for us to travel and, and do these things. Will it force more PVP because some POIs are underwater and some not? I don't know. Pretty cool idea though. And the last thing that I want to talk about is the West. There's a lot of real estate in the West with, or what we know so far, no POI on it. So we're curious if they're going to either extend the map inland or not do that. I don't I don't think they have any plans to ex to make a new map or extend the map, but maybe that's where the rogue faction kind of comes into place when they put that in, you know, the rogues are, you know, reserved for if you kill too many people in your faction, you get reported enough, you're eventually going to be kicked out, made a rogue, and where do you spawn? You don't have access to the little bird anymore. You don't have access to traders or any fob like that. So where are they going to put that? Is is the question. So the most likely candidate is going to be to the west. As of right now, there's nothing out there, at least on the map. But as that is implemented into the game, where do they go? And that's that's what I that's where we believe they go. Again, shout out to Orcus for making all this, and I agree with pretty much everything he's saying here. The basic loop, the circular loop around Ground Zero, is I think a pretty solid idea. Uh, my my number one concern with it is the freedom of LZs flying making the farther trips possibly cost more. I hope that's a thing where people can't just be flying everywhere. And then some sort of incentive to, if we can, go into other PMC starter zones. I hate that our quote unquote 42 square kilometer map, we're losing 
essentially eight square kilometers to nothing because it's basically a copy and paste region of our own, if that makes sense. Again, we'll see how it plays out. Heck, I might be completely wrong. And the second mission you receive, you have to go into enemy territory and, and do something. If that's the case, awesome. But kind of disheartened. And I don't think that's going to be the case because if it were, why would everything look the same? That's all I have for you guys. Hey, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything that you want to share about this, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to join the collective. I'll drop the link below and I'll catch y'all on the next video. Thank you.